So when I was taking Writing 150, my professor assigned us a research paper. And this research paper was completely open-ended. It could be on anything. And I wasn't sure what I wanted to research. And as I looked around at different topics that I was interested in, I eventually settled on space exploration. I realized that that was still a really, really broad topic, not something that I could write a dedicated research paper on. The next step was just to learn as much as I could on general internet searches. You go on Google and there's tons of websites that are super helpful. Wikipedia was super nice. It connected all of these different concepts really well. And from there, I was able to understand what are the different subtopics within space exploration. You could go into how can you generate fuel from the moon surface? You could explore Mars. You could look into asteroid mining. So I started looking into these different topics that I just mentioned and seeing what was most interesting, what was a problem that I thought would be good for the world to solve. I saw that one particular subcategory, space debris, and it was standing in the way of a lot of the other topics. This was a topic that had lots of academic research on it, but there wasn't any plan put into place to solve the problem. Considering what my interests were, this topic perfectly lined with that, and there was enough material for me to research. I had found my topic. After I had narrowed down my topic from a large topic like space exploration down to a very specific topic of space debris collection, the transition from just general internet searches to using a database was really easy because I knew exactly what I was looking for at this point. Later in the writing process, I found that having a very specific topic ended up helping a lot because I never had to chase rabbits down rabbit holes because I knew what my topic was. And that saved me a lot of time in the editing process.